John Johnson and Anthony Walker um, talked together today, and, and they talked about trying to find a way to stop Lamar Jackson in that Ravens run game. It's like a mentality with them. I think, you know, they want to out physical you. They want to run the ball. Um, there's no secrets behind that. Um, they're top five in, in rushing. So I think it's just a, a mentality. Like they want to knock you off the ball. They want to run the ball and they will run the ball as long as uh, you don't stop it. So we got to come in with the mindset of we got to knock the run out first and foremost before anything. Do you think you can fix what's been an issue the last couple of weeks? For sure. Um, you talked about, uh, you know, taking Lamar out of the run game. Um, <laughs> that's the difference. You know, um, him being able to pull it every play um, or, or hand it off every play. That's a different element that we have to uh, count for this week. Um, it's kind of like playing 11 on 11 football instead of 11 on 10. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we got to play uh, fundamentally sound when, without rules more than anything this week. So, Hayden, take a listen. These are the last four games for Lamar Jackson now. Remember, didn't play last week. Um, the last four games, he's been sacked 15 times. He's thrown five interceptions, and he has six passing touchdowns. He only has rushing touchdowns in one game this year. He had two of them against the Chiefs. There's a blueprint out there, and um, you alluded to it. The Dolphins kind of got after him and made him make decisions quick. That's the one thing. You want him to play from the pocket, but you can't allow him to sit in the pocket because he's learned to play that no. way. He's learned to play that yeah, way. Yeah, no. You give any – listen, you give any quarterback time in the NFL time in the pocket, I mean, they're going to pick you apart. That's just the bottom line. You know, maybe maybe it's because their first read isn't – or, you know, they've gone through their progressions and there's still nobody open, but they still got time in the pocket and, you know, a receiver can go make a play. I mean, go, you know, do something in your backyard school league. You know, that's what the Ravens are good at. So the Dolphins literally played cover zero for 40 snaps and had, you know, had success. Um Made Lamar like he was jumbled. He was he was um, not able to do, to do what he does. I don't think the Browns are going to do that. I think that obviously that you know is a little bit difficult to replicate, especially I mean for one game at the Dolphins. You know they were two and seven or whatever they were, and they came out and did it because they needed to. I mean that's you know I get that. I get that. That's a one-off thing. But the Browns can't do that. The Browns can't run cover zero every play. You gotta you know you gotta confuse them a little bit. Maybe show cover zero and back off. Uh, you know, show cover three and then, you know, find a way to cover one, find a way to, you know, man, I don't know. Like it's, there's, uh, that's why I'm really interested to see what, you know, what Joe Woods does, because you're right. There seems to be a blueprint and, and the blueprint is easily, it's the blueprint is easily said. Um, it's to stop Lamar Jackson's feet and to make him make quick decisions in the pocket. And so we'll get after him much easier said than done because he can elude you, he can avoid you, he can evade you. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, I the, the one thing that it appears is the Browns want to guard against big plays. Everybody does. Uh, but, I, you know, the, you have enough athletes. Trust your athletes. You went out and you upgraded the speed and the athleticism of this defense. Trust them. This is why you got them. Let them go out and play. I'm with you, man. I'm 100% with you. I think this is the week to, to let it fly. I mean, you've got nothing else to lose at this point. If you lose this game – your playoff shots or your playoff shot is not dead definitely not dead but it's certainly you're gonna have to probably win four of your last five if you want to get to the playoffs so um if you want to put yourself in a good situation towards the end of the year i mean this is the time to do it let it fly let it let your guys play you know you got denzel you got greedy you got uh greg newsome to you know to face up against these receivers um you got jok to look at lamar you got jok to look at the what the tight ends i mean you know they got they got weapons they do they have weapons but this is the week to trust in your trust in your abilities, trust in your strengths as a defense, and just go get it. Go get after them. You know they've played well. You know, and the, I think the times they give up the big players are kind of, you know, they gave up a big play against Detroit where you know it wasn't really even something they were. It was just a, a nice run play, and the effort really wasn't there, and he scored. But it wasn't anything schematically. I thought so. I'm with you. Just let it let it go. Let it go. Let your guys make plays.